friends santosh here and today i am going to deliver the new lecture series on waste water engineering that is also called as a sanitary engineering and this first lecture includes the introduction to the sanitary engineering definitions sanitary works and method of collection first of all i congratulate you all who subscribe my channel and also requesting others to subscribe my channel to get more and more ideas about civil engineering and to get the knowledge of civil engineering in simple and effective manner so let us start my this lecture that is <coughs> introduction to the waste water or sanitary engineering first of all we are going to define certain terms <coughs> that terms are anti siphonage what is anti siphonage the device to preserve the water seal in the traps by providing ventilation there are various traps in sanitary engineering that traps are used for <coughs> carrying the water and to maintain the water seal the device is used such a device is called as a anti siphonage then we are going to discuss the barrel barrel is the portion of pipe in which the diameter and wall thickness remains uniform throughout that is very important the diameter and wall thickness is uniform then we are going to discuss the bedding bedding is nothing but the layer of concrete or other suitable material on the trench floor to provide the continuous support for the pipes to provide the support for the pipes certain layer of concrete is provided such a layer of concrete or a suitable material is termed as a bedding what is benching the benching is the sloped floor of a manhole or an inspection chamber on the both sides and above the top of the channel so the sloped floor of a manhole is called as a benching what is cover the vertical distance from the ground level to the top of barrel of the buried sewer is called as a cover then we are going to discuss the drain what is the drain a line of pipes including all fittings and equipments such as a manhole traps gullies and floor traps used for the drainage of a building or a number of buildings or a yards within the same <coughs> cartilage drain shall also include open channels used for conveying the surface water so the drain is used for carrying the surface water also as well as it is used to carry the building water also then we are going to discuss the drainage or definition of the drainage the removal of any liquid by a system constructed for the purpose is termed as a drainage drainage means the system to carry the liquid or water subsoil water drain the drain conveying subsoil water the name itself indicate it's carrying the subsoil water surface water drain name itself indicates it, it is used to carry the surface water including storm water sewer what is sewer a closed drain carrying night soil and other water borne waste so sewer is nothing but the pipeline but it is used to carry the <coughs> night soil and other water borne waste what is sewerage it is the branch of it is a branch of engineering which deals with the collection and carrying of the sewage through underground sewers by water carriage system away from the towns and dispose it off in such an order that it may not cause any danger to the human health that is the sewerage sewerage is nothing but the system to carry the sewage outside the town by means of a water carriage system so that <coughs> there should not be a health hazard that is very important then we are going to discuss the refuse very simple term refuse it includes the all kinds of dry waste of the community street and house sweeping garbage etc so it is the dry solid waste and that is termed as a refuse what is garbage it includes all types of semi solid and solid waste food 
and products as vegetable or peeling of the fruits or water or waste meats etc. थोडक्यात मराठीत सांगायचं झालं तर भाजीपाल्या किंवा फळांची सालं किंवा असं जे वेस्ट मटेरियल आहे किंवा आपण जेवण जे वेस्ट घातलेलं आहे ते सगळं मटेरियल म्हणजे गार्बेज म्हणजेच गार्बेज म्हणजे काय असतं तर ते सॉलिड आणि सेमी सॉलिड प्रकारचं असतं पण रिफ्यूज काय असतं तर ते ड्राय असतं हे तुम्ही लक्षात ठेवा डिफरन्स बिट्वीन रिफ्यूज अँड गार्बेज अँड व्हॉट इज रबिश इट मीन्स ऑल सनरी सॉलिड वेस्ट ॲज सच ॲज पेपर ब्रोकन फर्निचर पोट्री और वेस्ट बिल्डिंग मटेरियल एक्सेट्रा दैट इज रबिश सो वेस्ट बिल्डिंग मटेरियल इज टर्म एज अ रबिश पेपर इज ऑल्सो एज वेल एज ब्रोकन फर्निचर एंड पोट्री इज कॉल्ड एज अ रबिश वेस्ट पोट्री एशेस दीज आर द रेस्यूड्यूज विच रिमेन आफ्टर द कंबक्शन ऑफ कोल कोक टिंबर इन द हॉर्स एंड फर्नेस ऑफ हाउस एंड इंडस्ट्रीज That is very important. Ashes means in Marathi it is simply it is rock. So what is inward? The lowest point of the interior of the sewer or a drain at any cross section. That is the lowest point of that sewer or a pipe which is termed as a inward. The channel in the floor of the chamber which carries the flow of sewage through the manhole. That is continuation of that inward. So inward is simply a lowest point <coughs> of a pipe or a sewerage then manhole an opening by which a man may enter or leave a drain that is simple manhole is the hole constructed for the man to enter into the drain or a sewer or other closed structure for the inspection cleaning and maintenance operations and fitted with a suitable covers then cleaning eye that is important and access opening having a removable cover to enable obstructions to be cleared by means of a drain rod that is cleaning eye cleaning eye is used for the purpose of cleaning with the help of or by means of drain rod then soak away a pit suitably prepared pit means khadda a pit suitably prepared to receive soil waste water or partially treated sewage for seepage into the surrounding ground that is soak way that is also soak pit similar term is soak pit then soil waste the discharge from the water closet sets urinals then slopes <coughs> sinks stable or cow shed gullies and similar appliances is called as a soil waste what is soil pipe the pipe which receives the discharge from the soil fitments mean <coughs> soil pipes and other appurtenances then vent pipe a pipeline installed to provide flow of air to or from a drainage system or to provide the circulation of air within such a system to protect trap seals from the siphonage and back flow that is a vent pipe then ventilating pipe the pipe which provides a safe outlet into the atmosphere for the foul gases in the drain or sewer that is ventilating pipe that pipe is used to remove the foul gases from the system then sewage it includes all kind of liquid waste of a community that is sewage and it is further classified as a storm sewage and sanitary sewage storm sewage is received from the rainfall and sanitary sewage is from the house please look at this table 1.1 which shows the outlines of the sanitary engineering or a waste products of a town or a city what are the waste products of a town or a city <coughs> foul gases or smoke that escape into the atmosphere then storm water <coughs> storm water then again garbage from the street sweeping then house waste products and last one is the industrial waste products so these are the waste products from the sanitary engineering and <coughs> which are again divided into the garbage sewage sewage means the 
waste from the kitchen is termed as sewage s u w l a g e you know the sewage we already described we also described the garbage that is solid waste then it is again classified into combustible and non combustible etc and sewage treatment works there are treatment plants also treatment units also and sludge digestion also but and uh, this figure i am going to describe in later part of my lectures because and uh, this figure is mainly introduced in this lecture to know you what are the different waste products of a town or a city and mainly they, these are foul gases storm water garbage from the street sweeping house waste products such as sewage sewage garbage etc and industrial waste products also okay so let us proceed further then <coughs> i am going to describe you the sanitary works what are the sanitary works it is a very beautiful definition sanitary engineering starts at the point where water supply engineering ends so that i completed water supply engineering first and then i started the sanitary engineering when the work of water supply engineering ends then the work of sanitary engineering starts all the taps fixtures or appurtenances that receive water for the use of discharge into the waste water systems sanitary engineering starts with the collecting system and ends after the streams or other bodies of receiving water have been returned to the condition of relatively purity desired for them means sanitary engineering collects the water treats that water and return that water into the desired place the sanitary works can be broadly divided into the following categories first of all collection works first of all we collect that then treatment work then we treat that and then we dispose it so disposal works so you must remember the collection work treatment work and disposal works in sanitary system or sanitary works we are going to describe the collection works the collection works are mainly meant for collecting all types of waste products of the town as described earlier in that figure refuse is collected separately and the sewage is collected separately you know that refuse is collected from the street sweeping etc and sewage is collected from the house drainage the collection works should be such that waste matters can be transported quickly and steadily to the treatment works the system employed should be self cleaning hydraulically tight and economical so that even poor district authorities may afford it the collection work include the house drainage work and network of the sewers laid in the town to collect the waste water from the individual houses public places apartments and industries the drainage system should not allow to <coughs> disease bacteria and foul gases to escape into the atmosphere inside the building and crowded localities of the city disease bacteria and mosquitoes may breed at cash basins and other sewer appurtenances therefore they should be designed in such a way as to avoid these troubles that is very important then we are going to describe the treatment works what are the treatment works sewage treatment works waste water treatment works or sewage treatment works are required to treat the sewage before disposal so that it may not pollute the atmosphere and the body of water in which it will be disposed of the types of treatment processes depend upon the nature of hygienic aesthetic and uh, economical asset, ex aspects this is this is very important the system should be hygienically maintained it should be aesthetically good and it should be economical if the waste water is not treated it will do so many harms few of which are as below pollution of water supplies for man beast and industries destruction of the food fish and other valuable aquatic life contamination of bathing places and ice supplies creation of unpleasing sights and atmosphere pollution of air contamination of water and making it unfit for any purpose such as commerce or commercial recreation 
or other important verbs. So, treatment verbs are important. Then we are going to discuss the disposal verbs. The treated or untreated wastewater are disposed of in various ways by irrigating fields or discharging into the natural water courses. The work which are done to dispose of the wastewater are called as the disposal works. That is so simple. Aims and objects of the sewage disposal. What are the aims and objects of the sewage disposal? Proper disposal of the human excreta to the safe place. Then to take off all kinds of wastewater from the locality immediately after its use so that mosquitoes, fleas, bacteria, etc. may not breed in it and cause nuisance. Final disposal of the sewage on the land or nearby water courses after some treatment so that receiving land or water may not be get polluted and unsafe for the further use. As far as possible, the fertilizing elements of the sewage may be used in growing crops through sewage farming and getting some income in addition to the disposal of the sewage. In unsure raid areas, the treatment of the sewage from the individual houses should be done by the septic tank or by other suitable means and the effluent should be disposed of. That is important. Effluent should be disposed of. That is not carried out commonly. If the sewage is disposed of on the land, it should be have such a degree of treatment that it may not affect the subsoil in any way. That is very important. Then we are going to discuss in short method of collection. There are two systems basically. One is the conserve one c system and second is the water carriage system. You know that by name itself it indicates conserve conservancy system <coughs> should not use <coughs> more water to carry the sewage. But in water carriage sewage, uh, water carriage system water is used to carry the sewage. That is the major difference. Okay. Then we are going to discuss the conservancy system. Sometimes this system is also called as a dry system because water may not be used. This system is in practice from very ancient times. Actually, this is out of date system. Even though it is prevailing in small towns, villages and undeveloped portions of the large cities. Various types of refuse and storm water are collected and conveyed and disposed of separately by different method in this system therefore it is called as a conservancy system means dry solids are dispatched separately and storm water liquid disposed of separately so it is called as a conservancy system garbage and dry refuse of a town is collected in the dustbins placed along the roads and streets from where it is conveyed by the trucks and covered carts once or twice in a day to the point of disposal. All the non combustible portions of the garbage such as the sand, dust, clay, ashes, etc. are used for filling the low level areas to reclaim the land for the further development of the town. The combustible portion of the garbage such as the dry leaves, waste papers, broken furniture, etc. are burned. The decaying fruits and vegetables, grass and other such things are first dried and disposed of by burning or into manufacturing of manure. Human ex excreta or a night soil is collected separately in previs or conservancy latrines. The liquid and semi-solid waste are collected in separate pans in the same latrine from where they are removed through human agency. After removal of night soil is taken outside the town in a closed animal drawn cars or trucks or a tanks mounted on the tractor trailers. The night soil is buried in, into the trenches. After two to three years, the buried night soil is converted into an excellent manure which can be used for growing crops. So, <coughs> the dry system is the conservancy system and <coughs> where dry waste and other waste are collected separately. But in water carriage system, it is a new system and with the development and advancement of the cities, urgent need was felt in to replace the conservancy system with some more improved type of system in which human agency 
should not be used for the collection and conveyance of the sewage that is more important it is a social factor so social factor must be taken into the account and it is also a beautiful system and in this system a lot of water is used but it is <coughs> very effective system after large number of experiments it was found that water is only cheapest substance which can be easily used for collection and conveyance of the sewage as in this system water is the main substance therefore it is called as a water carriage system in this system the experimental matters are mixed up in a large quantity of water and taken out from the city through properly designed sewerage system where they are disposed of after necessary treatment in a satisfactory manner the sewage so formed in water carriage system consist of 99.9% of water and the remaining 0.1% of the solid matters all the solid remain in suspensions in the sewage and do not change the specific gravity of the water therefore all the hydraulic formulas can be directly used in the design of the sewerage system and the treatment plants of the sewage here is just one small comparison all the time it is <coughs> asked in the descriptive type of examination that is comparison between conservancy and water carriage system in conservancy system it is very cheap in initial cost but <coughs> water carriage system it involves a high initial cost in conservancy system due to foul smell from the latrines they are to be constructed away from the living room so building cannot be constructed as a compact unit but in water carriage system building can be constructed as a compact unit in conservancy system aesthetical appearance of the city cannot be increased but in water carriage system aesthetical appearance of the city can be obtained for burying of experimental matter large area is required but less area is required in water carriage system excreta is not removed immediately hence its decomposition start before its removal causing nuisance of smell so foul smell or odor is there and it is not possible in water carriage system as compared to conservancy system storm water is carried out usually surface uh, through surface drain since no problem of pumping the storm water and in water carriage system sewage is treated before disposing it off it may or may not require pumping it depend upon the topography of the area the quantity of waste water liquid reaching the disposal point is less hence it can be disposed of without any treatment so for conservancy system no treatment is required for disposal into the water but in water carriage system large quantity of sewage highly polluted in nature and treatment is required before disposal so it is costlier in operation and maintenance in conservancy system the system is fully dependent on the human agency in case strike by the sweepers there is danger of in sanitary conditions in the city which may cause spreading of diseases as no human agency is involved in water carriage systems there is no problem as such a case in conservancy system as sewage is disposed of without any treatment it may pollute the natural water courses in case of conservancy system but in water carriage system sewage is treated up to the required degree of sanitation that is very very important so i am going to conclude this lecture so <coughs> you please listen this lecture till the end and you may got ideas cleared about basic idea cleared about sanitary engineering and for more details and notes you may please contact my administrator and you can also write me on my email id svkulkarni72 at the rate gmail dot com so thank you for listening quietly and calmly and <coughs> also i am going to deliver the next lecture shortly on the sanitary engineering or wastewater engineering so thanking you thank you thank you very much bye